Ah, ah, ah. Hear the word of the Lord. The Holy Spirit is in you, your Paracletus, to help you to operate in intimacy with the Lord. I don't want you to find yourself in the place that Saul found himself. I don't want you to find yourself in the place that Judas found himself. I don't want you to find yourself in the place that Esau found himself. Crisis came. They didn't know how to get one-on-one with God. David knew it. Paul knew it. Apostles of old, they knew it. Apostles of now, they knew it. It's not a factor for ministers. It's a factor for the believer. It's something you do as a child of God, first of all, before any other thing. Before any other thing. So I want to encourage you. I know some people may be doing that already. Some might have been doing it before, but as time goes on, they left. And some, it may be you are a starter now. Always set that time apart and do it daily. The best time is early in the morning before you get into the tumult of the day and things begin to crowd in. But if by nature of your work, early in the morning is not possible, any time is good. But let it be God and I. You carry your Bible, you carry your notes, you carry your concordance, you carry your songbook, you carry your Bible. And you carry a bottle of water, if need be, that you're going to stay long there. And you tell God, anywhere, whether you are standing, everybody should know the posture they take that help them to concentrate and focus on God. Some people, it is once they are alone, like that, it keeps walking around. Lord, I just thank you. Focus is mine. Some other person is when he kneels down, then he can harness his mind. Do you understand what I'm saying? Help yourself. Like daddy will say, change location. It's the law of quiet time. Once you wake up, the first thing is to change. Don't do quiet time on the bed. You will sleep. You are flesh and blood. More so, you have an enemy of quiet time beside your bed. You wake up, you lie down there, and you are now shaking one right leg on the bed. So you sleep off. You say you are meditating. Get up. Relocate. Change location. Go to the sitting room. Walk up and down. Get your face cleared up. Carry your Bible. Carry. Let God know you came to meet him. No, it's not something you do. There are times we pray in the spirit, generally, to charge your spirit. You can be doing anything. You can be eating, praying in the spirit. You can be walking. You can be doing anything. I mean, that's just part of charging your battery. But your quiet time is God and I moment. Lord, I, ju- I, I, I just can't. Be open, be sincere. You can start praying in the spirit to come. You are speaking in tongues, you are talking to God. You can start worshipping to come or praising to come. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. You can come. You can start saying what he has said about himself. By reading the Bible after you have come. You can start singing. You can start talking. You have come. And you stay there. You minister to him. When, that, when you are doing that, the Holy Spirit, your paracletos is there to help you. Bring in prayer points that you should pray. Directing your heart to Bible passages that you should read. Giving instructions to your heart. And then you leave that place with strength in your spirit. May you know how to be alone with God. In the name of Jesus. I'll come your way tomorrow again. And don't forget, read your Bible to know God more.